be seated, please. Welcome to our graduates, families, and friends of the Vanderbilt University of Medical Sc School of Medicine class of 2020. Both those able to join us here in person as well as those watching via live stream. I'm Jeff Balzer, President and CEO of the Vanderbilt University Medical Center and Dean of the School of Medicine. I'm primarily trained as an anesthesiologist, and I'm proud and grateful to be a 1990 graduate of this medical school. Today we honor the achievements of this truly historic class, as well as the generous support so many of you have given to our graduates all along their journey. We're so pleased that you could all be with us one year later to participate in recognizing their wonderful achievements. Let me begin by introducing those on stage with me. On my right is Dr. Scott Pearson, Professor of Surgery, whom the Doctor of Medicine students chose as the recipient of the 2020 Shovel Award. This award, signifying the professor deemed by the students as the best teacher, is the highest honor our students will bestow upon a faculty member. Dr. Pearson will read the names of our graduates. On my immediate left is Dr. Donald Brady, Senior Associate Dean for Health Sciences Education and Executive Vice President for Educational Affairs for the Medical Center, specializing in internal medicine and also an alumnus of our medical school. He is responsible for all aspects of education at the Medical Center. To his left is Dr. Andre Churchwell, who serves as Vice Chancellor for Equity, Diversity and Inclusion and Chief Diversity Officer for both the Vanderbilt University and the Vanderbilt University Medical Center. He serves as Senior Associate Dean for Diversity in our medical center, in our medical school. A cardiologist, Dr. Churchwell leads our medical center-wide efforts to advance all aspects of diversity among our faculty and staff, as well as our students and residents. I would also like to recognize our faculty who were selected as ceremony marshals, some of whom were selected by our students to honor the impact that all faculty have had on their education. In 2020, the honorees represented the Doctor of Medicine, Hearing and Speech Sciences, Master of Public Health, Medical Physics, and the Master of Science in Clinical Investigation programs. The marshals for the class of 2020 are Dr. Andre Churchwell, Dr. Melissa Collins Duff, Associate Professor for Hearing and Speech Sciences, Dr. Stephen Eskin, Assistant Professor of Surgery, Dr. Howard Fuchs, Professor of Medicine. This honor was given posthumously as Dr. Fuchs was taken from us far too soon in October of 2019. He is represented here today by his wife, Dr. Catherine Fuchs, Professor of Psychiatry. Dr. Marie Griffin, Professor of Health Policy Emerita. Dr. Alpa Kisler, Professor of Medicine. Dr. Bonnie Miller, Professor of Medical Education and Administration and our former Senior Associate Dean for Health Science Education, and Dr. David Pickens, Associate Professor of Radiology and Radiological Sciences. In keeping with Vanderbilt's tradition of celebrating our emeriti faculty, I would now like to pay tribute to faculty members from the School of Medicine who received emeritus status at the conclusion of our 2020 academic year. These faculty serve the university with distinction and a deep and abiding commitment to their fields. Last year, 13 faculty from the School of Medicine were recognized with the title of Emeritus or Emerita. Dr. Daniel Ashmead, Professor of Hearing and Speech Sciences. Dr. Thomas Cleveland, Professor of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery. Dr. Jeffrey Davidson, Professor of Pathology, Microbiology, and Immunology. Dr. Mark Frizzi, Professor of Biomedical Informatics. Dr. Marie Griffin, Professor of Health Policy. Dr. Richard Hoover, Professor of Pathology, Microbiology, and Immunology. Dr. Patrick Lavin, Professor of Neurology. Dr. James Lloyd, Professor of Medicine. Dr. James Patton, Professor of Radiology and Radiological Sciences. Dr. James Pitchert, Professor of Medical Education and Administration. Dr. Donald Rubin, Professor of Medicine. Dr. Linda Seeley, Associate Professor of Molecular Physiology and Biophysics. And Dr. William Stone, Professor of Medicine. Congratulations to these faculty for this milestone event. <clears throat> At the conclusion of our last academic year, the School of Medicine awarded nine academic degrees in addition to the Doctor of Medicine. 
I would like to give a special recognition to those faculty who led each of these programs in the 2019-2020 academic year. For the Master of Science in Clinical Investigation program, Dr. Eric Austin, Professor of Assistant Pro Associate Professor of Pediatrics. For the Master of Laboratory Investigation program, Dr. Roger Chalkley, Senior Associate Dean for Biomedical Research and Training and Professor of Molecular Physiology and Biophysics. For the Master of Public Health program, Dr. Marie Griffin, Professor of Health Policy and Medicine. For the Doctor of Medical Physics and Master of Science in Medical Physics programs, Dr. Manuel Morales Palitza, Assistant Professor of Radiation Oncology. For the Master of Science in Applied Clinical Informatics, Dr. Josh Peterson, Associate Professor of Biomedical Informatics. And for the Doctor of Audiology, Master of Education of the Deaf, and Master of Science in Speech Language Pathology programs, Dr. Todd Ricketts, Professor of Hearing and Speech Sciences. There are also two groups of faculty I'd like to recognize within the Doctor of Medicine program who help guide medical students through their years of training, the college mentors and the portfolio coaches. You will find their names listed in the program. Our mentors greatly contribute to the professional development of each student in the learning communities. The portfolio coaches have guided the academic progress of their students on their individual career paths. We thank you all for your service to Vanderbilt and our graduates. Finally, I want to recognize all faculty members in attendance today. Those here today represent over 3,000 faculty members in 25 departments of the School of Medicine. Students, our faculty members are dedicated to your education and are here today to celebrate with you and support you on this commencement day. Professors Emeriti, ceremony marshals, program directors, college mentors, portfolio coaches, and members of the faculty, would all of you please stand so we may express our appreciation to you for the role you have played in the School of Medicine. <clears throat> Next, I would like to recognize three graduates who received special recognition in 2020. First, each school at Vanderbilt University has a banner in the appropriate academic color. Dr. Varun Minin, Doctor of Medicine 2020 class president, served as this class's banner bearer in recognition of his service to the school. Each school is also asked to select students to serve as marshals for our university ceremony. We selected students who distinguished themselves by service to our medical school. Our 2020 marshals are Mallory Hacker, representing our Master of Science in Clinical Investigation program, and Parth Patel, our, representing our Master of Medical Physics program. I would li now like to recognize the Vanderbilt University School of Medicine Class of 2020 Founders Medalist. The Founders Medal Awards are given to one student in each of Vanderbilt's 10 schools and colleges. These awards were endowed by Cornelius Vanderbilt in their first year of presentation in 1877, and today, the presentation of the Founders Medals continues that tradition by honoring the student graduating with first honors from each of Vanderbilt schools. I am proud to present the 2020 Founders Medalist for the School of Medicine, Kiana Rose Jackson, from my beloved hometown of Evansville, Indiana. She graduated with a Doctor of Medicine degree. Kiana was a leader and mentor at Vanderbilt, serving as the president of the Student National Medical Association and committee chair for the Student Wellness Program. She also spearheaded the creation of a new elective course in plastic surgery. Her many accolades include the Levi Watkins Jr. MD Student Award, and she was also involved in Vanderbilt's Shade Tree Clinic. She's completing her residency in plastic surgery here at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Congratulations to Kiana. At this time, I would like to ask Dr. Brady to come to the podium for the commencement address. First COVID. First, 
Let me add my word of welcome to you, the class of 2020, your guests, the faculty, and everyone here, else here in attendance for the delayed but not forgotten in-person commencement for the School of Medicine class of 2020. We as a university and a school promise to make this happen if at all possible and are very grateful that circumstances have allowed us to have this beautiful outdoor ceremony for those of you who are able to attend. Regretfully, not everyone was able to make it for a variety of reasons, but in spirit, we celebrate this day with them too. And to do something special for the med school class and the School of Medicine degree programs for 2020, we have designed a special lapel pin for you that has a masked Mr. C carrying a Vanderbilt flag that says, through this together, COVID-19 pandemic, VUSM class of 2020. For those in attendance, you'll pick these up as you exit the stage after your pictures. And for those not in attendance, we will mail them to you after the ceremony. Much has happened in Nashville and the world since the conferral of your degrees one year ago. Most obviously, the COVID pandemic has continued, with now more than 32 million cases in the U.S. alone and over half a million deaths. But we've also seen vaccines created and distributed in record time, with Vanderbilt a lead contributor in that process. And as of today, more than 146 million people in the U.S. alone have received at least their first dose of this life-saving discovery. We've continued under masking, distancing, and travel restrictions in an effort aimed at keeping us safe, but paradoxically also creating isolation and a decreased sense of community. At the same time, through collective and re personal resolve, we were able amidst the pandemic to welcome a new first year class in person to Vanderbilt. We've experienced heartache and tragedy with the deaths of individuals like Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, civil rights icon John Lewis, George Floyd, the shooting victims in Atlanta, all of whom in their own ways have forced us to confront the issues of social injustice and structural racism. Taking action, the Medical Center, including the School of Medicine, established a racial equity task force, began providing anti-racism training eliminated race-based EGFR from our clinical enterprise and changed the name of Dixie Place to Vivian Thomas Way, each of these efforts marked by significant student leadership. In our Vanderbilt family, we've experienced the death and celebrated the life of friends and colleagues like Pierre Messiaen, Kate Payne, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Fleming, while also welcoming new friends and colleagues into our community, including the most racially and ethnically diverse entering class in the history of the School of Medicine. Individually, each of you graduates has weathered your own storms and seen your own triumphs throughout this past year, as you have taken what you learned here as students and apply that education in your efforts to alleviate suffering, promote health, and discover new knowledge. Undoubtedly, if you are like the thousands of other of graduates before you, your lives have become busier and more complex than ever before. Well, if this is true, then why come back for today? Why expend the time, money, and effort to return, whether that distance was across campus or across the country? And why was it important to us, the faculty, the staff, and the administration to create this event for you. I've wrestled with this question innumerable times over the last several weeks, viscerally knowing its importance, but cognitively stuck in thinking that graduation has already occurred, you already have your degrees, and you're already well into the next stage of your life. So I reached out to you, the class of 2020, with the simple questions, why are you coming back? What's your primary motivation to attend? Through combining my own reflections with the themes from your replies, I've settled on four C words, not five since that's Dr. Slovis's domain, but four. Closure, commencement, celebration, and challenge that I wanna explore with you today. So let's begin with closure. 
Last May, there were Zoom events, video congratulations, mail diplomas, but none of the usual hugs, leaps of joy, tear-filled eyes staring at each other, or other trappings of the end of medical school. In essence, no closure. But why would this be important? Weren't you able to start the next phase of your life without the pomp and circumstance? Yes, but psychologically, it can be important to experience the ending, to create that anchoring point in a transition in order to feel maximally fulfilled. For each of you, it was a real accomplishment to achieve your degree, and I would argue important to acknowledge the end of that journey before moving onward. One doesn't get a second chance to walk the stage for the degree you've earned. And we're not talking about group closure, but rather your individual moment. While your guests are happy for all the graduates, I'm very sure they're here to see you. They're here to reflect on you. They want to mark this achievement with you and pause to reflect on its meaning with you. Also, have you thought about the potential long-term benefits beyond the discomfort of wearing a heavy robe outside in Nashville in early May? This moment, this pause, this acknowledgement that you finished your degree program, captured in full color both in pictures and in memories, may inspire your children, your nieces and nephews, and others that come after you in ways that you can't currently imagine. One of you even told me, and I quote, I have three amazing daughters attending my ceremony and this will inspire them. Closure is important. Next, commencement. And why am I talking about commencement after talking about closure? Well, I was a classical languages major and studied Latin and ancient Greek, two languages which I never will use in conversation. And if I do, please worry about me. Um, and thus at times I can get a little nerdy about wanting to know the etymology of a word. So it was with commencement. Some have argued that it comes from cum and mensa, literally meaning to be at the table with. While you were now your faculty's colleagues and thus have earned the same stature as a professional, that's not the correct derivation. It actually comes from cum, meaning with, and initiare, the Latin word for to begin. Thus, commencement is about a beginning. So why do we associate it with graduations? It's because the closure of your time in your degree program is the beginning of the application of the knowledge and skills you've earned in your new profession. But I wanna highlight something very important. This is not a solo endeavor. Commencement means to begin with. While you individually have earned your degree, the career into which that degree has vaulted you is a shared experience, and not just with other like-degreed professionals, but a whole system of people who shared the goal of promoting human health, discovering new knowledge, and helping others achieve their full potential. Think about your experiences over the past year. How often did you care for a patient truly on your own? How frequently did you design and implement a study completely solo? Did you ever share a triumph or a moment of grief with a colleague or a friend? Medicine in its broadest sense is just not something that we do alone. So it's very appropriate that we use the term commencement at graduations as we, your faculty, friends, and family gather for your entry together into the world of healthcare delivery, research, and education. That brings me to the third C, celebration, another theme that you mentioned in your replies to my questions. For many of us, the association of celebration with graduation evokes images of parties the night before, dinner with families, food, drink, merriment, etc. But once again, the Latin nerd in me wanted to know more. Celebrate comes from the Latin root celebrare, meaning to assemble in order to honor. We deeply wanted this event to occur in person, in front of family and friends, because each of you, each of you has done amazing work and deserves the honor of walking across this stage in front of this assembly 
in recognition of your efforts and accomplishments. That said, I would argue that you, the graduates, are not the only people here today that we have assembled to honor. We recognize the faculty that have chosen to be with us today, as well as those who have taught you but were unable to attend. We highlight the emeriti faculty who have spent their careers at Vanderbilt and the marshals that the class of 2020 chose to honor. We applaud Kiana Jackson, the School of Medicine's Founders Medalist. Also, you have invited both family and friends to this place, people who have supported you, sacrificed for you, laughed with you, cried with you, consoled and admired you, and they deserve honoring as well. Can we give them a round of applause? I also am quite sure there are many others who are not able to be here today, either because of restrictions or because they are no longer physically with us, that each of us right now are honoring in our hearts and in our minds. Instead of applause, may we take a moment of silence to celebrate them and thank them for their contributions to who we each are today. Thank you. That leaves me with my last C, my challenge to you. As you continue down the career path that you are navigating, learn from those who have and will mentor and advise you. Model from them, but don't copy them. Take what they give you to higher heights. Care for yourself as you care for others. Continue to be servant leaders helping those around you flourish and reach their full potential. As Parker Palmer, the noted educator said, the stranger is the person of promise. Address the disparities you see and the racism and bias that you see and experience. Make this world a better place for all. And finally, listen to understand, not just to hear. Patience, colleagues, family, and every individual we work with or meet have valuable lessons to teach us if we'll only pause long enough to process what they're saying in both their words and their actions. This past year has been very challenging to all of us in many ways, particularly the effect it has had on your progression through this School of Medicine and the initial launching of your career. That said, trust the timing of your life. Trust the timing of your life. You are doing what you need to and should be doing. You're invaluable. You belong here, in this space, in this time. To quote the current second year medical school class who made this statement to the incoming first years at the beginning of the year, there's been a lot of uncertainty in 2020, and I would say now 2021, but one thing is for sure, you are here. You belong here. You were, are, and always will be a part of this Vanderbilt family. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Brady. We now have a special message from Provost and Vice Chancellor, Dr. Susan Wente. Provost Wente. Today we celebrate the achievements of Vanderbilt's class of 2020 graduates, each of whom have shown profound commitment to their field of study and its potential to benefit society. Due to the nature of historic circumstances that coincided with their graduation year, these graduates have also accomplished something that uniquely and permanently distinguishes their character. Graduates, you have opened your minds to new ways of thinking. You have challenged assumptions and made personal sacrifices in order to do what is right. And you have entered your next career step at a time when the world needs exactly that willingness and all the deep intelligence and undeniable bravery that comes with it like never before. Together and as individuals, you weathered a generation-defining moment. 
Your profound resilience has led you here today, and it's my greatest <clears throat> honor to celebrate this milestone with you. Thanks to your compassion, fortitude, and grit, we've arrived at the greatly anticipated moment, the ceremonial conferral of academic degrees. The charges that I will read to our graduates were penned by the late Alexander Hurd, Vanderbilt's fifth chancellor. These charges are part of Vanderbilt's legacy. They've been passed down through generations and have been imparted to every graduate of this university since Chancellor Hurd's tenure. Graduates, in receiving these charges, you are joined to a lineage that precedes you, that will endure after you, and which flourishes because of you. Dean Jeff Balzer will present candidates for the degrees of the School of Medicine. I congratulate you on your distinguished attainment to the role of physician and commend you to lives of healing in service to the welfare of humankind. Congratulations to you and to all of our School of Medicine graduates. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trust of Vanderbilt University and by the vote of the faculties, I confer upon each of you the degrees for which you have qualified and extend to you the best wishes of your alma mater, now and for all the days of your lives. Thank you, Provost Winty. I have the honor of presenting these students who have earned the degrees of Doctor of Medicine, Doctor of Medical Physics, Doctor of Audiology, Master of Education of the Deaf, Master of Science, Speech-Language Pathology, Master of Science, Applied Clinical Informatics, Master of Science in Clinical Investigation, Master of Science in Medical Physics, Master of Science in Laboratory Investigation, and Master of Public Health. They have fulfilled the requirements established by the School of Medicine and on recommendation by the faculty have been conferred of that academic degree. We also acknowledge our six class of 2020 graduates who completed the requirements for a master's degree while in medical school, as well as 12 students who stayed with us for seven or more years completing the requirements for the university's highest academic degree, the Doctor of Philosophy, while also completing medical school. Congratulations to each of our graduates on all of these accomplishments. Now, if conditions allowed at this point in the ceremony, when we, it's when we would bring all our graduates to the stage and a member of administration would confer the academic hood and present each of you with a diploma. The investiture hooding ceremony began in medieval times. The graduates being honored would come before the head of the university, bow their heads, <clears throat> and the faculty would put the hood over the graduate's head. In this manner, the graduates showed respect to their fellow students and faculty without whom it would be impossible to reach their level of learning. As with so many things this past year, we are adjusting for the times. You each received your diploma last year by a mail, but we want to honor the symbolism of being conferred with our academic hood and crossing the stage. At this time, we'll continue the tradition of academic hooding, but we're going to have you place the hood on your own shoulders. If our graduates will please stand while holding your hood in one hand. I'll ask Dean Brady to demonstrate the act of hooding along with you. So grasp your hood in one hand. We'll give Do Dr. Brady a second here. <laughs> Make sure the velvet strip is facing the front. The front can also be identified because it has a short string loop. Grasp the front with both hands with your arm underneath. Lift the hood around and over your head. Please lift it gently and settle it around your shoulders and neck. Academic hoods are meant to drape down the back. Great. 
With the placement of these hoods, we, your deans, academic directors, and faculty of Vanderbilt University School of Medicine, confirm that you have completed the academic and clinical learning for your degrees. From here on forth, we are proud to call you colleagues. Congratulations. We will now have our graduates officially cross the stage. We'll be capturing a photo of you in two places on the stage, one here on my left, your right, symbolizing where you would have been hooded with a senior administrator representing your program. Then to my right and your left, uh, each graduate will have another photo with me, symbolizing where I would have handed you your diploma. At this time, I'd last like to ask the participants to take their places, and I call Dr. Scott Pearson to the podium to present our graduates. Good morning. I have the distinct honor and privilege of presenting the names of our graduates. We will begin today with our Doctor of Medicine degrees. Leah Chisholm. <laughs> Leah is completing a residency in urology at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. Howard Russell Day, Jr. <laughs> Russell is completing a residency in ophthalmology at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. Stephanie Marie Hadley. Stephanie is completing a residency in pediatrics at Boston Children's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts. Irini Samir Hanna. Irini is completing a residency in emergency medicine at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. Kiana Rose Jackson. Kiana is completing a residency in plastic surgery at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. Emily Allison Long. <clears throat> Emily is completing a residency in plastic surgery at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston, Massachusetts. Varun Kumar Menon. <clears throat> Varun is completing a residency in family medicine at Fort Belvoir Community Hospital in Fort Belvoir, Virginia. Joshua James Thompson.
Josh is completing a residency in general surgery at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. He also received his Doctor of Philosophy in Cancer Biology under the mentorship of Dr. Chris Williams, Director of the Medical Scientist Training Program. We will now present the Department of Hearing and Speech Sciences degrees. Doctor of Audiology, Megan Ann Billado. <laughs> Megan completed an externship at Massachusetts Eye and Ear, where she is currently working as a full-time audiologist. Gabrielle Helene Buno. Gabrielle completed her externship at Medical University of South Carolina. She is currently working in the adult population at Nashville ENT Audiology. Ariel Sarah Darvin. Ariel completed her externship at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. She is currently working at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia as a pediatric audiologist. Caitlin Dorothy Deold. <clears throat> Caitlin completed her externship at Audiology Associates of Westchester in White Plains, New York, and, were, and was hired on at the same location as a full-time private practice audiologist. David Michael Kessler. David completed an externship at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. He is currently working as a clinical audiologist at Vanderbilt University Medical Center, serving adult patients with cochlear implants and hearing aids. Kathleen Elizabeth Quick. Kathleen completed an externship at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. She is currently working as a pediatric audiologist at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. <clears throat> Eni Soon. <clears throat> Eni completed an externship at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. She is currently working in diagnostics and treatment of hearing and vestibular disorders for adult patients. <clears throat> Master of Science in Speech Language Pathology. Fiona May Reed Higgins. Fiona completed an externship at the Susan Gray School in Nashville and is in the midst of completing a clinical fellowship in Cheatham County Schools. She plans to pursue a career in pediatrics. We will now present the Master of Laboratory Science degrees. Dorita Jones. Dorita earned her degree under the mentorship of Dr. Alexandra Key. Her research work focused on neural mechanism of memory in developmental disabilities. She plans to continue coordinating research at the Vanderbilt Kennedy Center Psychophysiology Laboratory.
Emma A. Shrimp. <laughs> Emma earned her degree under the mentorship of Dr. Bo Lovern. Her research work focused on the expression of SIX2 in Wilms tumor in neonatal mice. Emma is now working as a clinical research coordinator for VUMC's Pediatric Hematology Oncology Division, where she studies patient outcomes for children with cancer. Jeremy Staub. Jeremy earned his degree in laboratory investigation under the mentorship of Jonathan Lehman, MD, PhD. His research focuses on tumor heterogeneity and chemotherapy treatment resistance in small cell lung cancer. Jeremy plans to continue his research in his career at Vanderbilt managing Dr. Lehman's laboratory. We will now present the Master of Medical Physics degree. Parth Patel. <laughs> Parth is currently completing a radiation oncology physics residency at Houston Methodist Hospital in Texas. Afterwards, he intends to achieve certification from the American Board of Radiology and make a career out of directly helping those facing cancer. We will now present the Master of Public Health degree. Carly Victoria Frazier. <laughs> Carly's thesis focused on measuring levels of trust and distrust in biomedical research among historically marginalized individuals. She hopes this work will inform tailored interventions to build trust and limit distrust within underrepresented communities. She completed her research in Dr. Consuelo H. Wilkins' lab under the mentorship of Dr. Sarah Stallings. Carly is currently working in the Office of Health Equity at VUMC, coordinating initiatives that promote community health improvement and equity. Muna Muday. <laughs> Muna's capstone focused on exploring community development and program evaluation in the context of health promotion. Her primary mentor was Dr. Marie Martin. Muna is currently working as a senior project manager at the Aidis Clinic. Please join me in congratulating all of our graduates. A well-recognized tradition in medicine is the taking of an oath, usually a variation of the Hippocratic Oath, representing a physician's commitment to their patients and colleagues. Our Doctor of Medicine graduates each year write an original oath, giving special meaning uh, to this tradition, as well as choose faculty members who they would like to lead them in the oath. The class of 2020 chose Dean Amy Fleming, and Dr. Jeffrey Fleming to lead them in their oath of commitment. Both pediatricians by training, Dean Fleming serves as the Associate Dean for Medical Student Affairs and works closely with all of our students. Dr. Fleming served as a teacher and mentor to many students while practicing in the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit and serving as Vice President for Continuous Professional Development. Last year, we held a virtual ceremony to honor our Doctor of Medicine graduates and the doctors Fleming led the graduates in their oath of commitment at that time. It was a quintessential 2020 moment. All 82 of them came off mute 
at the same time to become the first set of doctors minted by the pandemic to a reverberating oath via Zoom. You can see the oath that they took on the screen or in the electronic program. Sadly, Dr. Jeffrey Fleming lost his battle to cancer last December 2020, but his legacy lives on. On behalf of the MD class of 2020, I'm pleased to announce the creation of the Fleming Fund for Pediatric Intensive Care Unit Family Support. This newly established fund will support disadvantaged families who have a child hospitalized in the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit for an extended period of time. This fund honors both the work and the heart of Dr. Fleming, and I know his legacy will live on for many, many families in the future. As we conclude this ceremony, a few notes about how we will exit. The graduates and the faculty will be released one row at a time by our marshals, and then we will be releasing guests one row at a time as directed by our staff. Graduates, and I, I invite you to pick up a box of strawberries and chocolates in celebration of this day. You'll exit through the entrance to your right with the balloons, and the strawberries and chocolate tin is right behind this tent. I hope you can enjoy this gift as you celebrate today. For those graduates watching virtually, you will receive a commemorative, commemorative gift in the mail in the coming weeks. Once the students have left the field, guests will go through the same exit with the balloons, but we ask that only graduates enter the strawberries and chocolate tent. <laughs> Additionally, so the commencement team can pre begin preparing the tent for another ceremony later this afternoon, please exit in a timely manner. And for both guests and graduates, we do ask that you please continue to observe physical distancing with masks on. Congratulations to our graduates. To our MD graduates, you are now, and as long as you live, physicians. Most importantly, you are Vanderbilt physicians. I trust you will bear that honor with pride, but also with humility and a profound sense of responsibility. To all of our graduates, may your leadership be transformative, whether in caring for patients or working as an educator, an administrator, or an investigator, bringing renewed hope, satisfaction, and opportunity to your patients, your friends, and your colleagues. I'd like to thank Sarah Woodall, Dean Brady, Dean Fleming, and their staffs for all of the work they do behind the scenes to make commitment, commencement such a special time. And I'll now ask doc, Dr. Varun Menon to come forward, receive the School of Standard, and lead the recessional. I'd ask that all guests please stand and remain in place until the recession of graduates and faculty is complete. Our staff will be dismissing guests by rows. Thank you.